Now I originally had the version one of this awesome kit and I was pretty excited when I got it the first time and I really enjoyed the fact that you could create things that had um, templates that you could use. So when I saw that there was a second Angela Pan version, I was really, really curious to see what sort of stuff was going to be in this one. Um, you can see that I've used it quite a bit and I've practiced quite a little bit, but now I've also kind of moved into my um, journal because it comes with two journals usually. And yeah, I've been messing around with it for quite a while. Now I was really excited to see what came in box number two. So let's get it open. The first thing I want to point out is that the packaging is just so beautiful. It is so lovely and so just everything is just so like all the little details are perfect. The illustrations on the outside are really lovely um, and it kind of gives you a good indication of what you're going to do on the inside. I'm pretty excited to try that um, really cool looking Aurora Borealis. So when you first open it up, the box is beautifully presented and inside you get a little note from Angela Pan, which is pretty cute and pretty straightforward. And I like that there's a couple of illustrations on the front as well. Then there's an envelope inside the notebook and also the new template, which obviously we're going to get into in a second. Inside the little envelope, it's got a beautiful little illustration on the front and then you open it up and inside is all these beautiful cards that you can send to people. I don't know who I'm going to send them to, but I'll find some way to use them. I always love that. And there's a couple of stickers. So there's a total of, I think, four sheets of stickers and a little bit of doubles ups and two really large cards, which you could probably frame and use on your desktop. So that's what is in the envelope. Then we get into the kind of how-to guide itself. It's very similar to the old one and it's got the colors and what you can do and it gives you how you should be coloring in the templates that they provide. And the templates again are just fantastic because it really gives a clear indication of how you're going to color those in, what colors to use, it gives you the color palette structure. And then oh, Mossery is so great with their packaging. Um, just a cute little card that you could use for something um, inside the box is my new notebook and the paper is so smooth it's perfect for acrylic paint markers and perfect for drawing and blending colors now what's really cool is my Chiron markers work really well on this as well the acrylic Chiron markers and they are just too lush but this time I got the Posca paint pens it's the first time I've used Posca and I was really excited to get into it so let's see what is in the stationery bags that come with this it is a pile of like a bucket load of beautiful colored Posca pens most of them are size three millimeter um, the black and the white are both seven millimeter which is great and then the blue is I think like a massive huge pen it's like a really thick tip um, which is pretty cool so as always we're gonna open these up and then shake them and get started now if you haven't already I highly recommend heading into the comment section below and commenting on what your favorite color is and I also have the free five-day better bujo challenge that you can download in the link now that we've shaken them and gotten them ready, we're going to use the template that is provided to fill in the colors that you get with your set. So let's get those colors onto the sheet now. Now it says on the instruction manual that you can mix the colors together. Now I always struggle mixing the colors together because I feel that they dry really quickly. So this I'm going to say is a drawback. I find that my Chiron markers work far better because they're a lot more blendable and a lot more juicy to be able to pick up the colors and create new colors where this becomes really scratchy and super dry. So I can't say that I love the color mixing process at all.
So I wanted to give these colors a go and I thought what a perfect opportunity to just try out one of the illustrations that are in the book and chose the bubble tea which I thought could be really simple to follow along with. So I'm going to draw out the palette that they've got selected on the template and I am going to color it in. Overall, I really like these books. I love that they come with a template. I love that they have color palettes so you don't have to think too hard. And I like that they give you an example of what the end product should actually look like. Do my end products often look like what they should? Probably not, but that's me and me needing to practice a lot more. I really enjoyed using the Posca markers as well. I thought those were really great and I love using acrylic paint pens in general. So I'm looking forward to creating a little bit more with this amazing template. Good work, Mossery, and amazing work, Angela Pan.